everybody and welcome to Tea Time Tuesday. My name is Colette and this week we're keeping it kind of simple and uh, we're trying Twinnings of London's Darjeeling Tea. I always call it Darjeeling Tea. I might as well be dyslexic at this point. <laughs> but um, uh, the Twinnings story is in 1706 Thomas Twinnings started selling fine tea in England. Today Twinnings still sells some of the best the world's best teas from the original store in Strand, London, and in more than a hundred countries throughout the world. Uh, as far as twinning goes, I've only had the English breakfast tea, which I've had at Crackle Barrel, which it's pretty dang good. So you should try that too. Um, let's see. More about Darlie Jean. Uh, it's a light golden black tea from the Himalayas, uh, the foothills, and it's considered the champagne of tea. Um, it's blended with a delicate and unique character that is likened to a muscatel grape, which apparently has like kind of like a sweet and floral taste. And those are usually the ones that uh, end up like on our tables that you know people eat and uh, raisins. So that's just a little bit about Darjeeling. See, look, I did it. Darjeeling. Gosh. Um. Yeah. I guess some other stuff. It's unique and delicate and. It's the finest first and second flush teas, those picked in the spring and the summer, so they're picking it right now! And, uh, yeah, it's often regarded as one of the finest tea, and you can either drink it black or with milk. In this case, I'm taking it black. I'm not gonna say any black jokes, that's horrible. It's definitely a lot different than English breakfast and the green and white tea that I was sipping on earlier today. It is very good. It does kind of have like that little weird, like, it's bitter. <laughs> I like bitter teas, so, um, I don't know, I'm taking a sip. It has like a weird little kick to it, you know, because like there's something in English breakfast tea that makes it taste different than the average, speaking to the American population, like Lipton is going to be like the biggest thing, you know, like just normal tea to us doesn't just, it doesn't taste like that. This is different. In fact, I guess you could say it's grapey. I mean, I wish I had taken a sip and been able to say that otherwise, but hey. So, if you're looking for a different twist on normal sweet tea, or any tea for that matter, this is pretty good. I don't know. I like I like bitter tea. Hence, no sugar. But, uh, you know, you could obviously add it. Um, yeah. Well, tune in next week. Okay? Alright, bye.